It's Saturday, June 15, with Pastor Chris teachings. And our theme for today's article is Proclaim His Love and Grace. Our theme scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19. And it says, To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Hallelujah. This is one of the most profound verses in the Pauline episodes. Pastor begins. It unveils the magnitude of the Father's love for all men, His overwhelming and everlasting love. Think about it. God was in Christ, reconciling the world of sinners, not Christians, to Himself, not counting their sins against them. Amazing. Most don't realize the truth that Jesus was God, taking the place of sin and sinful man on the cross. He accepted the most gruesome pain and punishment for the love of man. It brings to mind how the prophet Isaiah described him in Isaiah 3 verse 2 to 3. He explained that he had no form of comeliness, no royal or kingly pomp that they should look at him. There was no beauty that they should desire him. He was described as one from whom men hid their faces, despised and unesteemed. Yet, the world didn't know that the creator of the universe, the one who had made each and every one of us, was the one who hung on that cross in our behalf. They failed to recognize him. They were oblivious to his presence. But that's why he sent us to proclaim his love. The whole world needs to know that Jesus is the embodiment of God's love, sent to reconcile humanity to himself, not holding their sins against them. Even the vilest offender is loved by God. He harbors no anger or resentment for anyone. Hallelujah. The Bible says he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We find that in 2 Peter 3 verse 9. It's our duty to proclaim his message, this message, to reveal who Jesus is, to declare his love and the worth of his sacrifice. It's our responsibility to proclaim this gospel of his love and grace. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, now let's take our prayer together. I mean every word from the bottom of our heart. Please say with me, Dear Father, thank you for entrusting me with the gospel of your love and grace. As I boldly proclaim the truth of your love, many hear and are translated into the kingdom of your love son to walk in the glorious inheritance you've prepared for them in jesus name amen all right for further study please read first john 4 verse 10 and romans 5 verse 8 to 10 and also john 3 16 which says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. And for further details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Mercy Church near you. God bless you and do have a glorious weekend.